uh, it was a standoff, mm-hmm. right? And they started grabbing the chain and pulling closer. And then Piper gets it rolled up that he can throw, you know, a, 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 a bit of the chain like at him, swing it at him, you know, like a whip, uh, you know, and then there was more of that, you know, and he gets, so he gets the first shot on that, you know, and as they go, you know, obviously it gets big. They're playing up the, the damaged ear of Piper at the time. Uh, you just lost the, the, the United States heavyweight championship. Well, I always loved that it was the United States heavyweight championship, right? Like it was just, Oh, the U S title. It was like, no, it's still a heavyweight championship. It's just of the U S not the world like that, that that's interesting. That still feels more. It feels more important to me that way. Um, obviously we're doing titles with less words these days. Uh, I think it's part of it. So, um, but uh, it, it's it's it's, um, you know, and, and even at the end of it, Piper wins, and they were reminded. Even I think Gordon Soley or the other announcer. Wait, wait, Gordon Soley calling this match fantastic, always yeah. great. Um, he, for, he well, forgot. I still can't get over. He something. forgot it wasn't for a title. Yeah. <laughs> so which is which? Which also reminds me of when uh, Piper beat Hogan, and it wasn't for a title. We're like, what do you mean? Um, but so it, it seems to go with his career. Uh, so, oh. um, unfortunately, but, uh, no, it was, it was, it was, tw- it was a good 20 minute match. The blood, like it's one of those matches definitely enhanced by the blood and the importance. Um, yeah. there, you mentioned the pool thing. There was a thing where Piper went on a, up on, I think the second rope and Piper's on the ground and he just yanks him off yeah. at that point. There, like, there's also a point where he wrapped the chain around the ring post mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. used his own momentum to pull like mm-hmm. and choke Valentine in the corner, which was a, a, a clever use of pulleys. He hooks, he hooks the leg with the chain wrapped around the legs. It was a, uh, and, and as many, you know, dog collar whip matches we've seen that doesn't happen too often, right? They they still don't use that, you know, all that often. Um, which is like, why wouldn't you? Like, you should just hog tie the guy and pin him, right? Right? Eventually, like it, it seems obvious, right? Um, but uh, no, well, hog tying someone doesn't necessarily mean their shoulders are going to be down. No, no, not necessarily. But, but you know, the you reverse tie them up, you know, whatever the case may be. Um. Piper, I, I one thing I like about Piper is he looks like just a dude in a bar street fight. Like, there's a point where he tackles him, and it's so just wild, and you don't even think he's gonna hit him. <laughs> That's what I honestly about any of Piper's matches. He mm-hmm. literally like just went in and was like, "I'm just gonna beat the tar shit out of this oh, person." Yeah. The same way if like somebody like accosted me on the street, like, and, and it is like it 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 comes off as less wrestling. Because I don't think there's any wrestling technique no, other than no other than anymore. his intensity that goes into that, right? Mm-hmm. So it, it, and it, it, it just adds so much, especially since this is a big blood feud between these two guys. It definitely looked like he was all out of bubble gum. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, fantastic match, uh, fun seeing it. Uh, you know, again, 1983. This is pre WrestleMania. I was seven months old, Sorg. You were seven months old. I was a I was good. You were seven months old, so what? Wait, what month was this? This would have been November of eighty three. November, yeah. So I was probably like a year and a half. Is that right? Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, um, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't have even known, but <laughs> so, but uh, and of course, Tina's also calling out as she did before another uh one to recommend. Starcade eighty five, Magnum TA, and Tolly Blanchard. I quit match. Yeah, I need. Oh I need yeah. to get that one in for sure. And so. I have to say, the fashion in the crowd mm-hmm. was was something to see. Ugh. I fashion- I'm like sad I wasn't an adult in certain eras because <laughs> the, the like, fashion is so good. I would have rocked that. Oh so oh my god, I would have been in so I many. Bring it back. Uh, we, you, I don't know. You can I- try, but. You know, I've had this thing about I've wanted to do a throwback show in Pittsburgh for so long. And, uh, <laughs> Sword, can we do a throwback podcast? I, what would we do? Pretend it's the late 2000s and things are just like, no, okay. Sorg, we, we just do a time travel podcast. Like, like we take all of our equipment, we record something, we wear retro clothing. And we talk about the wrestling of the day. I add VHS filters to everything. Yes. 
and hisses. So, are you okay? I, over there? I, oh yeah. I think Did you hear knocking? Uh, knocking or what is he? He's he's like kind of doing his burrowing kind of thing. Oh, maybe that's, that's what Chihuahuas that's what do. I heard. Chihu- Chihuahua is like the burrow, and sometimes he tries to do that just when he's trying to s- sleep on the chair. So I feel I feel that I feel he that he, that like, he like scratches at it, you know. Before uh, well, maybe before that's what I heard. In. Well, once again, yeah. we've seen where my mental state yes has well, like, has been. So I'm like, oh, I'm hearing stuff again. Yeah, no, he's also yeah. He also if there's like a blanket or something. He wants to get underneath it. Oh. Like it's 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 pretty fantastic. 